Hello, I'm Amy O'Donnell, the Communications Director for Texas Alliance for Life. I'm here today with our Executive Director, Dr. Joe Poyman. Welcome to this week's TAL update. Pro-abortion extremist President Joe Biden sowed more misinformation about Texas pro-life laws in his recent shamelessly misleading campaign ad. The ad features the tragic story of Amanda Zerwaski, a plaintiff in the well-publicized Zerwaski v. Texas lawsuit. Amanda was pregnant and almost lost her life from sepsis because she received poor care from her OBGYN. Amanda had a condition called PPROM that requires a medically necessary abortion to save her life. Instead of offering the abortion immediately, as allowed by Texas law, her doctor waited to perform the abortion until Amanda was so sick that she almost died. Texas law did not require the doctor to wait, and the Texas Supreme Court has said as much in an opinion in December. Surely Biden knows that. The deceptive Biden ad brazenly exploits Amanda's tragic loss of her baby and the near loss of her own life. Biden wants to blame the loss and lasting repercussions on the former president for appointing conservative Supreme Court justices willing to take a fresh look at Roe and how it failed to align with our nation's constitution. However, this claim is false. Texas law, where Zerowski resides and received treatment, clearly allows doctors to perform abortions to save the life of the mother before the threat to her life posed by the pregnancy is imminent or her condition is septic. Texas law clearly allows doctors to perform abortions in those rare and tragic cases when the pregnancy endangers the mother's life. Doctors have performed 75 abortions under the medical necessity exception in Texas law during the first 17 months since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade in Dobbs. No doctor has been prosecuted by a district attorney, sanctioned by the Texas Medical Board, or sued by the Attorney General of Texas. No pregnant woman has lost her life for lack of an exception, even with more than 360,000 births in Texas each year. While it is tremendously heartbreaking to hear of the loss of Willow, the Zerowski baby, and the impact the pregnancy and delayed care had on Amanda Zerowski, it's essential to get the facts right. Those losses are the fault of poor treatment by a doctor, not Trump, and not Texas's pro-life laws. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again for our next update.